Oh, so we're making cables now? Alright, cool. Okay, so first let's start with a normal cable. So uh, to do this, just go to curves and add an ABZ curve. I should get this by default, read it, and uh, uh, well, this is fine. I'm just gonna keep things straight. Cool. Uh, now all you have to do is we know that uh, you know you can just go in here into the uh, curve settings, go to geometry, and uh, you know uh, change the bevel amount to make the uh, cable look thicker, right? But now let's make a uh, twisted cable because they look extra complex and extra nice all right so uh, once you've added this curve i'm gonna maybe uh, move my cursor away from it and add in another curve which is gonna be a circle uh, probably scale this guy down and uh, i'm gonna go into edit mode and um, duplicate this guy to uh, a couple times so what we're basically gonna do is we're gonna be using this circle to uh, act as the bevel object so that means that the size of this circle determines the thickness of our uh, bezier curve and also the number of circles determines the number of wires which are twisted if you don't understand that you will understand it in a minute so we're just going to select all the vertices here in edit mode make sure you're in edit mode uh, duplicate this and uh, move it like here and uh, duplicate this again move it here so uh, this is what I came up with. I have like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven uh, wires, and I'm gonna use these seven wires to kind of twist my bezier curve. So uh, since they're all uh, one single object, they should look like this in object mode, which looks great. Uh, now where's my bezier curve? All right, here's my bezier curve. Now I'm gonna select the curve. Go into the curve settings, and uh, under the bevel tab, I'm gonna select object, and the instance object is gonna be my circle. And ta -da, you can see that uh, whatever shape I have here for the circle just uh, came there uh, in the curve in the form of cylinders. If I go into edit mode and uh, change one of these, you can see that uh, they're uh, kind of linked. So if I change this, it changes over here. I want this to be thicker, I can make the circle bigger. I want this to be thinner, I can make the curve to be uh, circle to be thinner. Cool. Now, how do you? this because obviously if you rotate this nothing's gonna happen because it's just a bevel object right uh, select the curve and uh, if you go into edit mode you should have this you should have the original curve uh, select the uh, one of the vertices and hit ctrl T and uh, that should kind of twist your uh, cable nice and easy uh, so that's how easy it is to make uh, twisted curves in blender and um, yeah, you can always increase the resolution to uh, make it look nicer. But of course, if the uh, cable is not the uh, point of focus, you don't really need this many uh, vertices. So, and you can always uh, convert it to a mesh and smooth shade it. Now, the next thing that we're going to be seeing is hanging cables. All right, uh, so let's delete this. Uh, before we do this, make sure that you go into edit preferences and you have this extra object selected. I mean, if you have it disabled uh, and uh, you only, you should have only these options, but if you have it enabled, uh, you should have a lot more curves. I mean, I, I just like to enable all the extra objects, you know, uh, even if I don't ever use them, I just like to have them enabled because I want I want to see all the objects over here. Half the things over here, I don't even use them. So it's going to uh, an empty and let's add in an empty and uh, let's duplicate this empty all right so these two empties it doesn't have to be an, an empty it can be any object uh, so these two empties are going to be the uh, the uh, points from where our uh, wire will be hanging so i'm going to select both of these and i'm going to hit shift a and uh, if i go into curve you should have something known as knots knots are basically things that uh, connect two points right so i'm going to select this um, option called catenary if you select that you can see that both these empties get connected and uh, if you open this uh, options you can see that there's something called a uh, and by changing the a value you will be able to control how much the wire hangs and of course it's pretty easy for you to um, make give this uh, wire thickness or um, you can use the object or uh, circle to create uh, this 
uh, a lot of cables and uh, go into edit mode and hit con select a vertex control T uh, you will have to uh, use uh, proportional editing for this hit control T and uh, you can just you know kind of twist your wire all uh, nice and smooth and uh, this will look very realistic if you're going for a nice uh, sci-fi scene and uh, yeah you can always uh, make some wires hang loose look kind of hanging loose by uh, selecting this and um, by playing what edit by playing with the uh, with the uh, curve oh, i'll have to turn off portion editing and uh, i'll select all of these and if i move this away you know you can see that i'm kind of moving like one one of the uh, wires and making it loose so uh, this is a pretty uh, cool thing to know uh, you know there are some people who actually manually make these curves make these uh, cables they make they add like you know six different uh, bezier curves and make make them aligned like this you know it doesn't you don't have to do that there's a lot better way to do that so that's it for this video um if you like this video please give this video a thumbs up and um, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below and if you like my uh, content if you want to support me here to, to making and making more content good content like this please consider giving my channel a subscribe as that would really help me grow and um, yeah i will see you in another video <laughs> bye